Is this Bochi with the cats? Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> I mean, that could just loop endlessly. But yeah, just two cats having a normal conversation. I I wonder what these creatures would actually be saying. <laughs> to be fair, there's a lot of anime girls that just speak complete nonsense. I mean, the most classic one. Uh, it, where it's just a cute noise and means absolutely nothing, and that is the uh -oh. Yeah, that that kind of thing. Anyway, what's cracking fellow weaves out here? Welcome to another anime memes episode. I'm your host, Noble of Lost Paws, and I am as you say, a weeb. <laughs> always have been. Well, not always, actually. Then again, I did like Pokemon a lot when I considered it a cartoon. I wasn't quite sure if it was an anime, so... I mean, I did fall in love with it immediately, and there was a bunch of anime games out there, which I didn't even know it was called an anime. I just liked the concept of it, like Tales of Symphonia, and I was like, really? Anyway, uh, let's look at some memes. So, easy online with this animation. I absolve you of your sins. Oh, the <laughs> You have been forgiven. <laughs> I just like the way he turns around. It just gets spun around inside of that thing. I love the little details that you miss if you don't slow it down frame for frame. So many people really love the absolved sins, and I, I still think it's hilarious that the man makes a triangle and it makes a square hole. What is that? I mean, everything just goes into it the goes square, in the square hole. hole. <laughs> so how did he put that mask on where it's a little face mask and... Wait, uh, whoa! <laughs> Wait, what that How does he stuff that nose in there? How did he put that in there? Like an actual spring? Does it, is it just like go inside? Is it compress in there? <laughs> How does that work? What's he training for? It's my man, why is he on the bikes with like a... It's like cowboy training with a katana? Now he's running with his weeb so No shot, bro. What what kind of crunches would require you to do stabs like that? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Is he a samurai? <laughs> you gotta train to use some of those heavy metal swords sometimes, you know, like swings overhead. That's actually like real training, but I don't know about getting on a bike inside of a public gym is a good idea to do that. Name an Amime character that can survive Sukuna's domain expansion. And Buggy walking through Sukuna's domain like it's his everyday morning walk. Just, oh my god, just laughing, <laughs> completely immune to all slashes. <laughs> my man, Buggy. <laughs> it's true, he's immune to all the slashes, man. Sakura could do literally nothing to the guy, man. He's outmatched. I mean, to be fair, Buggy the Clown is... Obviously the most overpowered character in all of One Piece, man. No one can beat him. So this is a fun little series of posts that happened where someone posted, some days all you need are onions, garlic, potatoes, sweet potatoes, carrots, leeks, and all. He just keeps listing ingredients. And then they put delicious and dungeon morph up there. And then the actual voice actor came in here, pro ZD, and he did it himself. Some days all you need are onions, garlic, potatoes, sweet potatoes, carrots, leeks, bell peppers, chili peppers, <laughs> okay, more onions, dude. parsnips, black beans, okay. red lentils, scallions, mushrooms, more garlic, <laughs> red beans, more mushrooms, more potatoes. I still think this is great. Delicious in Dungeon, amazing series. I like uh, the dub and the sub. They're they're both amazing. In fact, I actually, I think I do prefer the dub more on it, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Honestly, Freyrin wasn't a thing. It'd probably be my favorite anime this year, but Freyrin is the thing. And I don't think anything could beat Freyrin. Now, I know some of y'all roll your eyes because it's a Genshin meme here, but Card Captor Zhao with the pole arm, the dialogues of the desert. It's just, it looks like a card captor. <laughs> he actually is just in there. Your magical girl Zhao. I don't know who they're designing that staff for in the new update. I could make a magical girl. Sure, why not? We make anyone a fancy little magical girl. So Fern out here is saying like, maybe I could be able to kill Miss Feyrin. And she's bringing in the chest out here as everyone's watching and the mimic like, <gasps> and it gets stuck in the mimic. Zoltra. <laughs> Just deleting her right there. Again, I don't know why they haven't tried that. I mean, it's cool what they're doing in the anime. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It's actually pretty cool that they're going up against Freyrin. But I'm very, very curious why they didn't try the mimic thing. I think that would have been hilarious. 
So this is just really cute. It's a cosplaying cat. Just right there. It looked like we're about to do some fighting against that Titan out there. <laughs> that is such an epic shot. Just too epic for its own good. I love it so much. So Sidness Arts here with Ubel Eats. This is such a dumb joke. I, but also, I'm a little bit worried about the, the bag there. It's got some things going on there. I mean, what you ordered from that, I don't know, man. But I definitely 100% would tip and leave five stars <laughs> if, I, if I value my own life. I can't believe you were friends with Monk Yanzo just like I was. Some friendships are so strong, they can even transcend lifetimes. And friends with who? Wait, friends with Monk Gya- Oh my, stop it. The internet just has to ruin everything. Come on, <laughs> Gya, stop. I mean, it's nice to see Avatar memes come back, but I did not want the memes to come back with this kind of stuff. So our main boy from Delicious and Judging holding up the Newt Newt. Newt Newt. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute, don't eat him. Don't eat my man out here. No, no, no. How would a penguin taste? I'm sure there's a few of you out there that would probably want to know how the penguin would taste. How would you sum the Pokemon taste? I bet some of them would probably taste pretty good. I mean, potato, don't worry. I'm not talking to you. Did you know that My Hero Academia manga could create the cutest character in his work? Someone who could actually compete for the best girl title against Mina and he gave her permanent in invisibility. That I, I mean, she is very, very cute uh, since they did the whole reveal. And my God, there was a lot of controversy over some of the reveal and some of the artwork that was on there. But I mean, she's very cute. And I like the fact that all the people are actually attracted to nothing, which is hilarious to me. People were attracted to the invisible girl long before they even showed her face. Parents, as siblings, you must love each other. And the siblings, well, I, I mean, they got the message, but maybe not the the, the right message. Oh my God, <laughs> I, I don't know what to say here. Let's move on. So Buzz Lightyear, domain expansion, infinity and beyond. Domain expansion, snakey mob. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if anyone's wearing shoes, they would be screwed because they would have a snake in them. <laughs> so if, you, if anyone has shoes on, it's over for them. I only watch the edgiest anime. Do you? With solo leveling and I watch gushing over magical girls in a big bed with my wife. I mean, to be fair, that is pretty edgy, I guess. <laughs> gushing over magical girls got some crazy shit there, man. I'm just saying. I haven't really watched solo leveling yet because I learned from the last uh, manhwa that had been adapted that uh, it didn't turn out so good, you know? Tower of God burned me and then, you know, all the other god. There was like some other god, the god of high school. That was it. That one was not it. So I'm just going to wait to see what the verdict is. And maybe if you guys say solo leveling is good, maybe I'll give it a try. Boys when they see small booba. Booba are booba. And girls when they see small eggplants. You know, that's that's a good point. What's up with that, man? <laughs> I mean, I don't mind how big the boobas are. I think they're fine no matter what size they are, you know? That's not a big deal. The most important thing is a good butt. <laughs> that's the most important thing, all right? She says you got a gorilla dong. You look up their average size. Again, another wiener reference thing here, but true. Uh, gorillas do have, I, you know, that's not a fact that I want to brag about that I know, but I, I do know that fact. And I hate that I know that it's very small. Every woman who sees my lewd off-brand figures, why don't they make male ones? Why only women? The undeniable truth, because men, trust me, they put their money where their ochinchin chin is. I don't know about you, but I've seen plenty of lewd male figures for plenty of females to catch, especially of Gojo Satoru, Levi, all that stuff. Ashley has seen them, and uh, I think she probably even wanted to buy a few of them. So I'm, I'm just saying, all right, guys, it ain't just men who want those figures. There's plenty of good stuff that women would want to. So the scene of... Ubel facing her clone in Feyrin. Yeah, that's true. It was an interesting angle. 
Um, and then behind the scenes where the guy <laughs> is just like, I mean, this is for the camera, okay? This is entirely important to the plot. I mean, it was a good dynamic angle because you got to see where she is facing off the clone and what's going on behind her. It's a very dynamic angle, but filming wise, it would be quite interesting for the cameraman to get there. So the Avatar live action matching the live action in the Avatar <laughs> itself being a bat. Wait, why do they actually look like they're bad adaptations of Sokka and Katara? I didn't even think about how close they look with the long face and everything. Look, man, I think the Netflix new live action adaptation of Avatar, it was just okay and disappointing. If you've watched the original cartoon, it doesn't hold a candle to it. And they changed the characters so much that Aang is actually just an entirely new character. Sokka lost his main motivation growing as an individual, but that's beside the point. I mean, I, it was a mess. I did like Zuko and Iro though. I did like them. So you eat sea monsters every day. Yep, we even ate skyfishes once. What about those two? Not yet. No, do not eat chopper on our fish men, boy. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure Luffy has thought about it. I'm pretty sure there's like a filler episode or sub episode in there where he was maybe thinking about eating chopper at one point. Actually, I think him and Lyos would get along actually quite well, Luffy. <laughs> Luffy would eat anything, man, as long as it's meat, honestly. Miss Fern, what would you like? Anything is fine. You can choose Mr. Stark. She only says that when she wants something specific. <laughs> my man, my man already knows how women work. When Ashley says, yeah, just anything's fine. And I'm like, okay, sandwiches. And she's like, no, you know I don't like sandwiches. And I was like, okay, what about chili dogs? You know I don't like hot dogs. No, well, okay, well, what about pizza? Yeah, it makes me bloated right now. <laughs> you just get all these options. She said, anything's fine. It's like, only the things that I like, no, but you know what I like, no. It's when she wants something specific, man. It's, it's always a trap. Uzaki Chan's body type is unrealistic versus realistic body types. And I mean, <laughs> I still can't get over the fact that people got so triggered over Uzaki. And uh, let's just say a certain develop happened, uh, development happened in Uzaki Chan recently that, um, well, I'm sure a lot of you guys are very happy over to say the least, <laughs> especially Uzaki. Anyway, let's end it there with some good old anime memes. I hope you guys enjoyed this here. If you did, slap that like button. I got plenty of other videos too if you want to check out for some good fun, some good laughs. And at least, I hope to always see you beautiful sons of guns again in the next video.